guys, this is the Antoine aka The Big Fella. It is Friday around noon, I'm currently at work, I'm actually on my way to one of my calls that I have for the day, and um, I wanted to go ahead and start this weekend's vlog off. Uh, I'm getting ready to drive over the mountains right now and uh, get to that one call, uh, get that fixed and out of the way, and then I need to go to the office and uh, grab some stuff and drop some stuff off. After that, I'm going to a cookout at my father-in-law's house, and that'll probably be what we do for uh, tonight. Uh, this weekend, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I know Isaiah has a football game, and not really sure uh, what's, what else is going on. But we'll all find that out together. So sit back, stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy this weekend's vlog. Living out here, just so pretty, um, especially in the fall time when you got all the uh, fall colors like the orange, yellow, brown, and stuff like that on the mountainside. But um, I'll get some more shots for you guys of some scenery out here. Down off of the mountain now, um, off of these windy roads. Uh, I used to take this way when I would uh, come home and go back to college when I would visit uh, home for the weekends. Uh, this is one of my favorite ways to take because it is so pretty. I could just take like the interstate all the way there, but you know, that's just straight shot. Uh, it goes to the mountain a little bit. But these uh, windy roads and pretty scenery um, always make me, it wouldn't let me, uh, would have me take this way. And that's why I prefer going this way. But um, right now we are entering what's known as the Shenandoah Valley. And uh, that's where my college, Bridgewater, uh, Bridgewater College is located. But um, let me go ahead and get to this uh, car. Man, that guy in that Penske truck is flying. I'm, uh, I'm doing 60 and uh, he flew by me like I was standing still. Old stomping grounds, Bridgewater College. Man, I missed this place. I might have to come back up here for a visit. I just left the office and now I'm on my way home. Uh, I got about a two hour, 15 minute drive ahead of me. I gotta go over the mountains on the interstate. So I'm pretty sure I'll get some scenery for you guys. I just got on the interstate and um, right at the uh, entrance to the interstate, I saw a guy uh, holding a sign who said he was homeless. And I wanted to get your guys' take on it. Sometimes I'll uh, I'll help out, especially if I have extra. But um, but I've been conned before, and um, like this one time I was sitting in the parking lot, like you know, closing out a ticket for work. And um, this is at my old job. Uh, some uh, lady pulled up. She had two kids in the back seat. I was talking about how her and her kids are living out of the car, and wanted to know if I could give them money for gas. Well, instead of giving them the money, I took them to the gas pump, and, um, you know, she pulled up, and uh, I put, uh, I was going to put, you know, like, maybe 20 bucks in there, but uh, it only took, like, three or four dollars, like, you know, like, it kept clicking like it was full, so I think she was just conning me, just trying to get money using her kids, but um, I, that's, I feel leery helping them out, but I do feel bad for people that have to do that, but uh, com get in the comment section and let me know what you think of... Uh, do you guys help people out when you see people holding homeless signs, or do you feel like it's a con, or what do you guys do? I, I guess I what I, what I do is I um uh, I just you know alternate it like uh, I didn't give a guy anything this time, but the next time I see somebody, I'll be help him out. I don't know. Just let me know what you guys do. Rock wall right there. Well, I just got out of the heavier traffic. I'm uh, still on my way home, but I'm starting to think that I may stop off somewhere and fish for half an hour. I think that's all the time I'm going to have uh, before the sun goes down. And I think I'm going to stop by that pond uh, that's near that cemetery that I don't know if I can, can or can't fish at. But uh, I guess today is a good day to find out because uh, that pond is on my mind uh, right now. So I want to go there and throw the waffle plopper around some of those elite pads uh, near that pier and see if I can catch anything. So I just left the uh, cemetery pond and somebody was fishing in the spot that I wanted to fish in. So I just went ahead and left, but I guess that answers my question if people uh, fish there or not. But uh, I was kind of hoping that I could fish because right now it's a full moon out. But uh, I'm going to see if I can try to find another place to fish on my way home. This is how we get it into the country at a cookout bonfire style or what's left of one. <laughs> We're about to start making our way towards Isaiah's football game. Uh, it starts in about two hours, but they like to have the boys there about an hour um, before game starts so they can warm up and re go over game strategy and stuff like that. But um, let me get Gavin in here, then we'll be on our way there. Uh, 
uh, left the football game and um, we picked up our truck from the repair shop and I'm driving my car back home. That's why I'm off my loon. But uh, I'm going to get home and probably do some cleaning, watch some college football. I think the Alabama game starts in like half an hour. So uh, we go, home, go ahead and watch that. Maybe go fishing afterwards if there's enough daylight. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I might leave at halftime if Alabama's blowing Tennessee out. This Alabama game scores 21 to 7 right now. It's about to go into halftime. But um, I'm hoping uh, it's still a little bit daylight out. I kind of want to go fishing this afternoon. If not, I think I think I may take the boat out to Lake Orange tomorrow and uh, fish the uh, shallow side of that lake and see if some shad are running that way. I was doing a little something I like to call spot editing where I take all the uh, little video clips that I record throughout the day and put them into my editor so they're in order and I'll, sometimes I'll go ahead and you know um, you know add the special effects and all that stuff then so uh, I can upload it quicker the on Sunday but uh, I realized I didn't tell you guys if Isaiah won uh, or lost their football game today and they actually lost the score was uh, what was it Jalissa? 18 or 26? Mm -hmm. yeah 18 to 26 but um, they fought hard. Normally, when uh, the opposing team scores first, they uh, get down on themselves and uh, usually quit fighting. But they uh, look like a whole different team. I think they're ready for the playoffs. Uh, they have uh, two more games. They uh, have to make up uh, two games, actually, because of, uh, ooh, I'm sorry, I'm watching college football at the same time. Um, Ohio State and Wisconsin are playing right now. But, um they uh they had two games where they were rained out so the um, the fall this weekend coming up and the following weekend they have to make those up before they can decide who is playing who in the playoffs so uh, we got two more games to go um hopefully they can get a, um some wins out of that game those two games and um you know have a good chance in the playoffs but uh, i'm going to sit here and finish spot editing and um watch some college football i don't know if i'm going to fall asleep yet I'm i am kind of tired i don't know why Maybe it's because that guy right there decided to wake up at uh, 6.30 this morning, I believe it was, and uh, wanted the whole house to be awake. So I'm going to, you know, finish editing this and uh, probably enjoy the rest of my night. I hope you guys do the same. And if I don't see you guys again tonight, I will see you tomorrow. And I believe I'm going to take the boat out to Lake Orange. quick dump run and uh, I'm going to run home and uh, hook the boat up and take it out to Lake Orange uh, and fish a little while before I have to pick Isaiah up and then um, after that uh, I guess we need to get ready for work and school and all that stuff. Guys I'm going to approach the Lake Orange now. Um, Jalissa mentioned that she wanted to go out but uh, as you can see she's uh, asleep so she might want to stay asleep. Uh, my wife and Gavin are probably going to stay right on shore and play around for a little while. Uh, until we come back, I'm probably going to be able to fish for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, somewhere in that time frame. So I'll probably be able to catch a fish today, hopefully. Um, I'm tired of getting skunked at this lake. Um, I think I've been here like five times on one video and um, haven't caught a single thing. So I'm hoping that can change today and uh, hopefully I'll have a partner if she decides to wake up. Here in Lake Orange now, we're about to uh, go towards the shallow side. And um, see if I can catch some fish, but I wanted to go ahead and uh, get my head mount ready and all that good stuff. And wanted to test out the camera and the uh, new stand that I have that uh, fits so conveniently inside the boat. Okay. There we go. Now, I know I look ridiculous to the people on shore, but uh, I haven't really been pushing my uh, YouTube channel. To like I, you know complete strangers because I don't I don't really know why but I think I'm going to start I think deep down inside I don't think my channel is good enough to like say hey you complete stranger uh, come watch my YouTube channel watch me fail at fishing but um you know I, I'm gonna get I, I also I'm kind of shy I'm, I was hoping that this YouTube channel would uh, help me you know be able to confront people to talk to you know talk to them and like promote my channel but uh i don't feel confident enough yet so i haven't been pushing it i bought my mtb sticker out here i wanted to slap it in here in the boat somewhere put it right there 
Oops, and I'm going off course. But um, let me go ahead and get to a spot and I'm going to start fishing. Um, I realized that whenever I record off of my uh, phone, if the video is over 10 minutes long, that um, the uh, I guess it converts to a different kind of file instead of a, uh, I believe it's a .wav and my video software doesn't support it. So I'm trying to keep the videos to like, uh, you know, like five minute clips if I, if it is going to be lengthy. So I, um, I'll probably pause the video and, you know, fish for a little bit and catch myself fishing. I'll probably use this more than I use that, uh, camera. So let me go ahead and get out here to this spot and we'll go ahead and start fishing. So Jalissa, she decided not to roll with me today. I guess she was a little bit too tired. But um, I'm fishing with a waffle plopper right now. The uh, wind is kind of um, kind of constant and blowing. It's got the water kind of choppy, and it knocked my camera stand over, and the phone almost fell in the water. So I've been kind of nervous to uh, film uh, film with this camera here. But uh, I just lowered the stand and pointed it up towards me. So I'm sorry if the uh, camera, the sunshine might get in your guys' uh, monitors or TVs or whatever you're using the watch this but um sorry it's just I was trying to figure out what the bottom was and because I could see a patch of brown over there and I was looking um, down here and all I saw was grass so this side of the pond must be a uh, lake must be really 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 shallow for me to be able to see that without polarized sunglasses which I wish I had by the way because um, I want to be able to see the uh, bait fish a little bit better and um, I really hope I might um, hoping I'm getting a uh, fish finder for Christmas because um, that would make finding these fish and seeing what's actually on the bottom a whole lot more easier because um, not knowing what's on the bottom without having uh, with um, without having to throw a Carolina rig would save me some time and uh, might even save me a little bit of money as well because um, I'm losing uh, stuff getting snagged into the grass but I don't know if you guys can really can't really see but back that way was the side of the lake I fished last time I was here in my boat and uh, didn't catch anything on that side but um, I'm going to go ahead and keep working this whopper plopper and uh, I'll probably change here in a little bit. Um, seeing if I can uh, see what's on the bottom. If, I, if there's a bunch of grass, I'm not going to throw a snake bait because I don't want that to get stuck. Might throw a spinner bait. But I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and shut the camera off now and uh, go ahead and fish and see if I can catch anything. I just tied on the uh, sexy shad. Uh, Menace jigs that I um, made a video about um, a little while ago. This is the uh, alive swim jig version that they have um, If I could catch a fish off of this here um, That goes to prove how well these things work. This is actually my first time fishing with one um, Haven't really had time to you know put a couple of uh, good fishing trips together that weren't more than an hour or so but um I wanted to go ahead and give these a try since I'm here and there's grass and they're pretty much weedless oh wow that looks really good in the water I wish I had my underwater uh, housing for this thing because um, I would love 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 to show you guys the action on this thing you know I'm rolling it through that grass because uh, apparently this, this, this uh, lake is nothing but grass on the bottom but um I'm pulling it through just fine. I can feel the grass. And I'll be honest, this is my first time using a swim jig ever. Holy cow, look at that house up there on the hill. Can you guys see it? Yeah, that house right there. 
That's a pretty house. That's what I'm working to eventually is to get a big house like that on the lake. Have me and my family live out there. And I'll probably be able to push out YouTube videos every day. <laughs> that would make me happy. I, I love the fish. I love doing this for you guys. But um, trying to make sure bills are paid. I just don't have the time to get out here and fish like I want. But right now, all I'm doing is I'm just letting this uh, wind push me uh, down the, uh, to the north side of the lake. Um, I'm kind of, you know, also making sure I'm keeping an eye on what's uh, in front of me as well. I was looking ahead. Um, the lake looks like it uh, splits into three different forks. I wish I had a lake map with me. I need to get one for here to see where uh, to see where I'm a where I'm going and b. Uh, I know some of the um, maps on uh, the uh, Department of Game and Inland Fisheries. I'm not, I haven't checked out other states yet, but I, for Virginia, they've actually start, started putting uh, the depths of uh, certain spots of the lake, which, uh, you know, would really, really help out a lot. Because <laughs> I don't know how deep the water is uh, now. Yeah, sure, I can take this jig and just, like, you know, throw it somewhere and just uh, count how many seconds it takes for it to sink. But um, if I can uh, find out what depth I'm fishing, I can, uh, you know, tie on something more appropriate. But you know what I'm going to do? This bird that I scared away over there a while ago, it, um, it's over here. So I think it's, uh, I don't know if it's following a school of fish or if it's just trying to get away from me. swim jig this thing really is snagless like I am just like getting through this grass with ease I think what I'm gonna do there's a pocket back here um, I'm not sure if it's a creek or what it is but I am going to uh, go back there See if there's a, if there's some fish back there feeding. I really, really need to get out of here for a day. <laughs> That's what I really need to do. <laughs> and uh, what I'm also doing is I'm uh, trying to study up on the different types of. Uh, you know, lake, uh, lake grass, I know there's like hydrilla and things like that, milfoil, but yeah, all I can tell you guys right now is, hey, there's grass, I couldn't tell you what type it is, but I'm working on that for you guys, I want to become a better fisherman and make better videos as well. Oh, I see some, um, a branch lay down of some sort. All right, I'm gonna shut the camera off again, guys. As I'm back out on the main lake, I didn't catch anything in that channel, um, or pocket, rather. I uh, went back there and I was actually uh, getting grass caught in the motor. So I don't know if the water was that shallow back there or if the grass was that high. But um, I tried to, I got out of the grass and fished around in there for a little while with the uh, minute swim jig and um, didn't catch anything. But um, I still have my jig, so I'm kind of excited about that. But um, right now I'm just uh, taking the jig and uh, just going along the banks and just uh, swimming it back to the boat. It's um, a little after 4 now, so I'm probably going to have to get off the water in about another hour, hour 15. And um, go get Isaiah. So I'm hoping I can catch a fish somewhere in here. 
You guys, fishing is real tough out here today. I uh, been tying all the stuff here uh, left and right, trying to catch a fish. Took the swim bait off and uh, decided to go with that uh, spinner bait with the rattler in it. And uh, as a trailer, I tied on one of those um, Doomsday uh, Dirty Gill uh, trailers that I got in uh, last month's Mystery Tackle Box. And um, haven't been getting any hits on this yet either, but uh, of course I've only casted it about 10 times. Um, I have a little mini uh, uh, crankbait tied on my finesse rod. Trying to, uh, you know, just trying to switch it up a little bit. I really uh, should have bought my uh, Carolina rig rod, rod out here. Thought I had a fish on the grass. But um, I'm coming up here on a, uh, a point. Looks like it has uh, some grass right around the shore. Um, this grass is actually standing out of the water, so maybe I can um, flip or pitch a jig into that. Right now, I'm uh, throwing a spinnerbait into it and seeing if uh, I can get anything stirred up with that rattler in it. But yeah, I don't know why it's uh, it's so tough to fish here. I don't know if it's because the uh, the uh, body of water is too big but that wouldn't make sense because uh people have caught fish out of here before but um i think i got about another half an hour or so to figure it out and then i'm gonna uh, go ahead and uh make my way in and uh go pick up isaiah and uh try to get another day i guess maybe when football season is over for him uh me and him can come out here for a day and just uh fish this whole lake I think that's what it's going to take for me to catch a fish here as uh, I'm doing that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and continue to fish. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off now. I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of uh, hearing me talk right now. So hopefully the next time I turn the camera on, I'll have a fish in my hand. As I um, got to be getting off the water here pretty soon. So I'm starting to head back towards the, uh, the loading dock. Um, didn't catch a single thing. I think I got a couple of strikes, which is... Uh, good sign I guess <laughs> I just couldn't uh, tell if it was a fish or if I was uh, dragging it over something in the water because I really can't see and I don't know what the bottom is really made of here but uh, from where I can see in the shallows anyway but uh, I'm about to go ahead and get the boat off here uh, I need to I think I'm going to have to restring this because I keep getting birds in this I think the uh, line in it's uh, have had its uh, time so I think I'm going to go ahead and put a, maybe 30 pound uh, test braid back on, on here instead of 50. And then I'm going to keep doing the uh, monofilament leaders. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the same with my uh, finesse rod as well. Put a you know, like 10 pound braid on there and do like 6 pound uh, monofilament leaders on there. But um, let me go ahead and uh, pay attention before I run aground. That's the term I was looking for earlier. And um, get this uh, boat on the trailer so I can go get Isaiah and uh, start editing this video but of course I am going to be fishing all the way back to the dock though uh, we got all the family back together we got this guy back um, all in all it was a pretty great weekend he got to play football finally after two weeks of not being able to play because of weather and um, I fished that lake orange but a goose egg so nothing exciting there or nothing new but um, I am trying to change that um, I want to catch a fish out of there one of these days. People are catching fish, it's just not me. <laughs> I guess it's because I'm recording, though, who knows. Enough excuses for now, but um, I want to try to do a couple of uh, the one and done videos this week. You know, where I take one lure, one rod, and spend one hour with that lure trying to catch a fish to help build uh, confidence with that lure. So uh, I'm going to try to do a one or two of those this week. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a weekend vlog next weekend because we're having um, family up. And um, I don't know how they feel with having cameras in their face, um, like all, especially all weekend long. But um, I probably won't be able to fish, so I probably won't do a weekend vlog. So I'm going to try to do like a couple snippets uh, maybe throughout this week to make up for it. But uh, I think that's all I have uh, for you guys for now. But like I always say, get out there on the water, throw your line out there and see what you catch. Introduce a child into the game of fishing so we can ensure the future generation of fishing. Get out there, fish for fun, and fish for cheap. This is Big Fella trying to sign up, but I'm trying to figure out what Gavin's doing to listen right now. <laughs> Y'all take it easy. <laughs>